around on the back of the cottage now. I'm just going to show you these pots that have been arranged for spring display. We have to draw back to give you the, uh, the effect we're after. Next plantings here, the back of the cottage. The rose on the wall is William Shakespeare, which prunes down nicely and gives a beautiful display each year. We've got pots of double pink tulips, crimson mauve black tulips, which are now just about over. There's one that's managed to escape, I think reddish tulip one in the background. This effect is sort of emphasised and supported by the weeds that have come up around it. I call them weeds. That's going to be a foxglove in the foreground. We've got a huge, great, big leafed plant coming up, which is your hollyhock. And then behind that, the white borage. In the foreground you've got a load of aquilegias, which I think are going to be white looking at those buds. That's a pale one. Fig tree's just been potted up. That was a self-rooted branch that went down onto the floor. And then that's just got a, a nice mix of plantings. Yep. And there goes a bimarana. And that walkway goes through into the vegetable area of the garden. But if I come back onto the back of the cottage now, I'll just show you this. We've got further foxgloves. Old pots on steps. And at the base of this wall, we've got a fantastic established planting. And above it, We've got a really incredibly long bright twist area just coming out. And then further pots, back door, with giant leafed hostas, pot of mint, and a further planting, wild self-seeded cottage garden plants coming up around the base of the wall. No, Tobesy? Is it all too much? Yeah. Good boy.